Last week on Turn of the Tide. Anything you might come to see this week? You got to be tough to face life, boy. Well, she's not any damn good, and everybody in the village know that except you. Maybe if he went to the States, he might be able to learn a trade or something. Sure, he can. The big problem is to get there. Mark is saying he's lazy. And I think he has no real motive. He work if he has to. As most West Indians find out when they get there. Where were you in the States? Oh. New York, Brooklyn. That's where most West Indians end up. Recently, they have started to move to Queens and Long Island. And more recently, a lot of them have started to move to Texas and Los Angeles. Yeah. I don't care too much for the New York winters myself. You know what I really love? What? <laughs> to actually see snow. It's a beautiful, unforgettable thing. Seeing snow for the first day. You never came back after you left. No. I almost came back here. About two years ago. When my mother died. I had no idea she was sick or anything. Dad said he wanted to spare me. God knows, I'd have thought if I had any idea she was that sick. Then, when the call came that she was dead, I was in the middle of exams and I couldn't leave them. You have no idea how I felt that night. Sick, lonely, guilty. I lay on the bed for hours, remembering everything, everything I could about her. And I remember the day when I left for New York. We were at the airport, and when they announced the departure of my flight, she held on to me. Ben, I don't think I'll see you again. I think even then, she knew she was dying, and she began to cry. <laughs> I cried too. It all came back then. I left my room, walked. I walked for hours. There were hundreds of people on the pavement. But I never felt so alone. I knew I had lost the most important thing in my life. When I came back home, it was about 4 o'clock. 
and it was then that the tears came. I cried like I never cried before. <sighs> Have a drink one of these days, you know. Sure. Alcohol. How's the old man? He's alright. See you around. You bet. Oh, you could talk to something like that. He's a friend of mine. He's a police. You ought to give me less pressure. Every time you meet me, just rub me down. Why well, smarter than he? Yeah, no. You have to smoke? Why well, is the only thing in this whole world that's made me feel good? But there's so much more in life. For you? Why do I have life for me? I don't have an education. I can't get a work to make myself a man. He's only scrunting and police harassing. They're not in this life for me, Ben. You have to make your own way in life, bro. Nobody's gonna give you anything. That much I know. You are responsible for your life. I know that. But it ain't easy, you know. God know it ain't easy. Nothing in life is easy, brother. <laughs> When I see boys I went to school with, passing in the big car, posing up with a nice chick, or going to the big park, I just wonder, why you for God to vex with you? Give your brain, give your health, strength. The rest is up to you, brother. <laughs> You know what? I think you have a point. I will have to make it on you.